Well, it's no secret we're living in an increasingly digital age. Advances in technology can be useful for everyday life, but they can also cause some concerns about privacy and safety. And that's an issue one bill in Maine's legislature is addressing by proposing limited use of facial recognition technology by law enforcement. New Center Maine's Chloe Tebow joins us live this morning from Augusta with more. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Sam and Tori. Good morning. Yeah, Representative Grayson Lookner of Portland is sponsoring this bill. He says part of his inspiration to do so came after the Portland City Council's vote last summer to ban city officials from using this kind of technology and the Portland People's Referendum in the fall that created enforcement provisions. Now, on Monday, the Criminal Justice and Public Safety Committee unanimously passed the amended version of this bill. Groups like the Maine State Police and Maine Municipal Association had expressed some concerns so parties work together to find a compromise. Now the bill says this software can be used for some serious crimes like murder or rape. A request to do so must go through the main state police and there needs to be probable cause. Images used must come from the Secretary of State or FBI databases, not private ones, to make sure they're high quality and pose less of a risk of misidentifying someone. The technology can also be used for child trafficking cases, amber and silver alerts, incapacitated people, or someone who is believed to be dead. The bill supporters say they're happy to be moving forward to address what they believe is a threat to civil liberties. I think both sides are really concerned about emerging technologies, about preserving our cherished civil liberties. So I'm really happy that we have bipartisan support. This technology is uh, very, very dangerous unless uh, democratically controlled. And everyone understands that. Everyone understands the dystopian implications of this extremely powerful technology. Now, one group that is still opposed to this bill is the Maine Sheriff's Association. Right now, Maine sheriffs only use this technology for iris scans for inmates in some jails, but they're concerned about the future. Writing in a statement, they acknowledge that existing facial recognition software is imperfect, but as more accurate tools are developed, they do not want to be restricted. Lookner says his, his bill only addresses the use of facial surveillance among public entities. He says in the future, he's hoping to look at private entities. And next, this bill is heading to the Maine House for a vote. That could happen next week. Live in Augusta this morning, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine.